There are so many shades of eyeshadows and palettes that I hardly ever touch. I mean, how much black eyeshadow can I possibly use, especially when I'm over 50 years old? So I put together my own palette. I'm going to show you what I did. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. Make sure to click subscribe and then click the little gray bell, and you will be notified every time there's a new video, and all the videos will apply to you. Well, I have lots of eyeshadow palettes. I've even given a lot away because it starts to feel overwhelming as a beauty YouTuber, and um and lifestyle YouTuber. I decided to put together my own and I was looking and looking for individual shadows that were metal that could be magnet that were already magnetized basically and would fit into a medium size Z palette like this one fits into my cabinet and the thing is I wanted shadows that were matte and not too dark so I landed on Makeup Geek I even emailed them because a lot of times shadows that are brown pull orange on me. And I said, okay, do you have some that go more taupe or more cool tone? I was also looking for some purples uh, based on the video I did on the purple eyeshadows. But the purple eyeshadow I love is in a palette that's not sold anymore. So I bought one purple from them and um, I bought one shimmer and then a whole bunch of mattes. So this is what I have. Um, the thing is, I think, and, and I will say this probably more than once, and I, I have emailed them to see if they'll work with me on this, between their lightest shade, this cream color, and the next lightest shade, I think there are two colors in there that they're missing. So it's hard to do a transition shade. This actually comes, this light beige brown actually comes out kind of dark for a transition shade. I still think I made a pretty good selection. I have a screenshot where I've listed out what the color names are of each of these in case you are interested. And of course, all the products that I'm talking about today and all the products that I'm wearing will be listed in the description box below the video. So open that up. I have links so you can just click them and go check them out for yourself. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I have all kinds of posts, typically four posts a week, to inspire you, to talk about anti-aging, to give you ideas on anti-aging products, or even clothing and accessories that I think are great for you. I'm 60 now, so I'm all about looking my best especially going out into the work world or consulting world or whatever world I'm going out into. I want to look my best and not my worst. So without further ado, let's get into the demo that I'm going to show you how I did this look next. I have my face makeup done. I've done my brows and eyeliner. So now I'm ready for the eyeshadow and I'm going to start with some lining. So with this choice, I think today what I'm going to do to line, I'm going to use this middle one, the Bedrock, and I'm going to use a tiny little brush and I'm going to start by lining the under eye. Just a little bit, like halfway. And then I'm also going to go over, I'm wearing a black liner today. I don't like how the harsh line looks on me. And also, the older I get, if I open my eyes, the eyeliner can touch my skin. And putting a little bit of dark shadow on that will help. If you do this over your eyeliner or instead of an eyeliner, it helps to Pull, use the other hand to pull back the skin and touch the eyeliner area that way. The next thing I'm going to do is to use this creamy color, which is called So Pale, and I'm going to put that over, well, 
typically under the brow, but I'm going to put it all over the entire area. And you'll see, even though it's quite yellow in the pan, it does come out a lot less yellow on the eye. So I'm just going to pat this in with a fairly large brush. And that's a color that I'll come back later to clean up. Now for the transition color, which is going to go into the crease and up a little bit higher so that when I have my eyes open and I'm looking directly at you, you can see a little bit of that color showing up. So as I had said before, um, this is the lightest color they have um, in these colors that are more taupey. It's called Beach Please. And I want to talk to them about these two because I think that between the So Pale and the Beach Please, there are probably two other colors that they could make that would make better transition colors. So instead of using Beach Please by itself, I'm going to dip my brush into Beach Please and then So Pale. Beach Please So Pale. And then I'll tap it off just so that Beach Please isn't so dark and then I once heard Ms. Goldgirl say on one of her videos, if you don't like blowing on eyeshadow, you're not going to like this video. So I will end up blowing that probably off camera so that you don't have to see it. So now I've dipped into each one twice. So light brown, beige, light brown, beige, tapped off. And then I'm just going to go in this transition area above the crease, go a little bit off into the corner. See how these are just really, really nice matte shades for older skin. Just love them. They're not overly intense and they're not like some drugstore brands that you buy where you're putting the color on and you don't see it. And you put the color on and you don't see it. You put the color on and you don't see it. Okay, so really nice. And then I'll take my blending brush and just blend out the edges and I can always add more later. So isn't that nice? It makes a really nice color without being too intense. Okay, so that's my transition shade color. Now I'm ready. Normally, if I'm just doing it every day, I would just put a little tiny something of dark, something darker in the corner. But since I want to demo my colors, I'm probably going to do them all. But let's let's do this next color here. This one is called Clean Slate. And um, yeah, it's really nice. And I'm just going to use a little tiny brush and I'm going to work. There is some fallout, but that's OK. Um, and I'm just going to wedge this into the crease. So it's going over some of that previous color combo that I just did, but not as high. Okay, and into the corner. And out a little bit here, but not much. And then when I blend it out, and I can end up taking some of that cream and going in here. It just adds a little bit of darker color. I hope you can see that in my bright lights with my camera. Next, just because I'm playing with makeup today, instead of doing the darkest color today, I'm going to go in for this purple called Curfew. And I'm just going to use my little angled brush. And um, I'm just going to put it into the outer corner just for a little bit of purple. I am wearing a periwinkle top today. And it's sleeveless because it's a hot day. I'm just putting it into this outer corner. And I will blend that. The nice other nice thing about these is when I use the blending brush, it doesn't all go away like you see in some cheaper shadows. All right, this is with the purple. Now I'm ready for the shimmer. I bought just the one shimmer called Shimma Shimma. I like it because it's a true shimmer without any 
glitter in it. So you're not going to get that glitter look, but it does adhere to the eye really well. I'm putting this on the main part of my eye, the mobile lid, and because I can do this with one hand, I'll show you the second eye as well. And then I'll blend that out a bit without overdoing. And now I will go back into that So Pale with my bigger brush and go under the brow just to clean up a bit. All right, and I'm going to put mascara on and I'll be right back. That is the finished look. I really like these individual shadows by Makeup Geek and that I can get so many great colors in the mattes. And I really, really like this medium size D palette that I can fit into my cabinet. Check out one of my other videos by clicking its image on the right side of your screen and I'll see you in the next video.